Hey, I'm in here, and in this cast, I'm gonna go over the distraction free mode. So, one of the features that I like most when I use Vim is the simplicity of the interface, something that IDEs are not good at, since they have multiple widgets filling your screen real estate, something that you don't really need while coding. So, let's check it out. First step is to set a shortcut to toggle the distraction free mode. So, from your IDEA Vim RC, add the map in. In my case, I'm mapping it to Control Z. Once done, save and reload your IDEA Vim config. Now, if you hit your shortcut, in my case, Control Z, you will enter the distraction free mode. If you hit it again, you go back to the normal mode. So, if we go back to distraction free mode, you can notice two issues. First, the text is kind of centered. This is actually a feature. Uh, however, I think it's weird. You can keep it if you want, but if you want to remove it, go to your settings and then advanced setting and then look for left margin in distraction free mode and set to value to zero. Apply. Okay. So now you can see that it's gone. Second, by default, the line numbers are hidden in the distraction free mode. Maybe JetBrain thinks that line numbers are distracting. However, I found them a must have to jump around the source code. So if you want to enable the line numbers, right click on the left side of the editor and select show line number. You only have to do this once. However, if you want to have the ability to toggle it on and off, you can map it to a shortcut using the editor toggle line number action. To conclude, not only does this mode make JetBrains IDE looks like Vim, but more importantly, since all the widgets are hidden, it forces you to use shortcuts for everything. Thank you for watching, and if you have any question, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to respond as soon as possible. Also, there is a blog post in the description below if you're looking for more details.